like my costume? Yo, that's so cool. How are you doing that? I got a Nimbus 2000. Oh, I see. Here. That made $4.6 billion last year. Here's how. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard of TikTok. I take that back. I actually think TikTok users do live under a rock. I just don't see how else to explain the phenomenal content that TikTok excretes. Real gem, such as using super glue as hair gel. Well, I didn't have any more Gatti glue spray, so I used this Gorilla Glue Spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. If those sound stupid, they are. TikTok is stupid. Spend one minute on it and your eyes will bleed. But the average user doesn't spend one minute. They spend one and a half hours a day. Globally, TikTok users watch 167 million hours of videos every internet minute. It's why TikTok is projected to earn $12 billion in revenue by the end of 2022. I admit, I don't think too highly of their content per se, but I think TikTok's business model is brilliant. They monetize stupidity. Hi there, internet stranger. I'm Adrian Ching, CEO and founder of AppSec Studio, a web and mobile app development agency based in Kuala Lumpur. We've been at it for the past five years and once in a while, we see something like TikTok light the market on fire. There are always valuable insights to learn from ideas like this. I say idea, not app, because it's always the idea that makes the app, not the other way around. I'll be covering all sorts of topics on web and mobile development as simply as possible to help non-technical founders make more informed decisions. If that sounds like something you would find useful, please subscribe and help me grow this channel. Hey, you like the shoes? Like the yeah. shoes, huh? If you like sure. the shoes, you should, you, should, you, should, you, should, you should subscribe to the channel. <laughs> What's the shoes got to do with the channel? Who cares? <laughs> Let's say you want to create an app and your only goal is to make money. You don't care about education or saving the whales or education for the whales. Just money. You could learn a few things from TikTok. There's going to be two parts to this video. Part one covers the methods TikTok uses to monetize its viewership. And part two covers the UX features TikTok has put in place to groom and prime its users to create the kind of viewership it has. Let's get straight to part one. How does TikTok make money from us watching its videos? Number one, ads. You saw this coming a mile away. If you get traffic, you will get advertisers. And TikTok has traffic. Now, as for the ads themselves, TikTok has the usual kinds of ads you would see on other streaming platforms. The ones that pop up before, during, and in between videos of various lengths and duration. Of course, they're all targeted based on your personal information. You use the internet, you lose your privacy. It is what it is. Now, TikTok also has some pretty novel ad formats. Brand takeover is where a brand gets to blast you with an ad the moment you open TikTok. TikTok charges $50,000 per day, but they also guarantee 5 million impressions, which comes to about $10 per impression. Users only have to go through one brand takeover per day, and it's when they're still fresh. So TikTok is happy, the advertisers is happy, and users are... Then you have brand hashtag challenge, which are really something special. For a minimum spend of $150,000 and another $100,000 for a week of promotion, brands can create their own challenge with its hashtag. TikTok will place it high up on their discovery page for people to see. When Nissan wanted to promote a new car, they provided users with music and challenged them to provide their own car commercial voiceover. They received more than 34,000 video responses. When Samsung wanted to promote their new phone, they created basically a marketing audio track starring the world-famous K-pop band Blackpink and challenged its users to make their own versions. Awesome screen, awesome camera, long-lasting battery life. Awesome screen, awesome camera, long-lasting battery life. Listen to the audio by itself, it sucks and I don't want to buy it. Now, listen to it while being distracted by my future wife. Awesome screen, awesome camera, long-lasting battery life. Awesome screen, awesome camera, long-lasting battery life. Now, I love Samsung. I would die for Samsung. I must buy Samsung. The last type is branded effects. TikTok provides branded stickers, video filters, and lenses to add to their videos. So you can be watching a makeup video and suddenly a girl might have two Coca-Cola circles on her cheeks. Maybe Pepsi instead of lips. Mountain Dew on her eyelashes. 
Brands pay about $45,000 for 30 days of turning users into vending machines. It's worth noting that TikTok started in 2016 and accumulated 100 million users that year alone. However, they only officially started launching ads in 2019. Could have made money sooner, but they were patient and made more money later. Also, they turned ads, normally seen as a necessary evil, into something users could look forward to. It's a good reminder for founders. Focus on adding features that cater to users' need, not your own. Number two, in-app purchases. Users buy TikTok coins. You get better deals if you buy more in one go. Of course you do. The price fluctuates, but as of this video, it's about $1 for 100 coins or about 10 cents per coin. Users use the coin to buy various gifts which have different coin values. The gifts are given to content creators which convert them into diamonds. Diamonds are converted into real cash again. Each diamond is worth 5 cents and TikTok takes half of that as commission. They make money twice. I couldn't find specific numbers on how much TikTok earns from this, but I think it's safe to say they make more per day from this than I will after working for 10 years. Number three, e-commerce. The last way TikTok milks its cash cow is through its e-commerce feature. Imagine if YouTube and Shopee had a baby. Using content like this to sell product like this. They recently launched this service in Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Vietnam. And of course, they've been doing it in China for years. TikTok also allows creators to promote products while live streaming. It's a concept that's been really well received in the Southeast Asia market. For now, TikTok only charges 1% payment service fee to merchants for using the platform. For now, I think Grab did something similar during its early days. Once it convinced enough people to quit their jobs and drive full-time, it hiked up the rate up to 25%. Of course, TikTok has a way bigger market than Grab. So maybe they'll stick to 1% and rely on numbers. That's it for part one. Let's get to part two. How TikTok creates the viewership it has. We saw how it's got some really cool monetization methods. These methods would be useless without an audience to monetize. A lot of it is to do with the psychology and insights into user intent and predicting and shaping behavior. And I'll point out what UX features are used to achieve their goals. Well, go, money. Number one, offering entertainment to a younger audience. If you want your app to make money and you're in the B2C space, entertainment is the way to go. That's TikTok's primary value add, pure entertainment. The question then becomes, what audience demographic you want to entertain? TikTok's answer is not surprising, young people. If we look at TikTok's audience breakdown as of 2022, the numbers are 421.1 million users aged 18 to 24. That's 39.8%. 306.7 million users aged 25 to 34, and that's 39%. And keep in mind, TikTok only shares data for users aged 18 and above. So the actual number of youth using TikTok is probably a lot higher. Why target young people? They are more impressionable and interested in a sense of validation and belonging. They also have worse impulse control and less experience. Translation, they have more free time to spend doing nothing and are more likely to make purchases based on emotion. TikTok gives them a platform to be heard and seen by millions. Can you imagine showing this to your grandpa? Girls don't want flowers for Valentine's Day. We want cows. He would smack the shit out of you, but show it to a million teenagers the week before Valentine's Day. Very different result. This is why TikTok can generate over 100 million hours of views every minute, which then translate into lots of ad revenue. It's also why it generated $2.3 billion from in-app purchases in 2021. Number two, social media features. TikTok lives and dies by user-driven content creation. So it goes to great lengths to support this feature. It creates group challenges to create trends and aggressively promotes them to users to participate in the hope that they be seen by millions of other users. It then makes video content creation really easy. TikTok provides lots of in-app video editing options like filters and video effects to allow anyone 
to make a decent looking video with super low learning curve. It also allows interaction with this user generated content to create a sense of belonging. TikTok allows commenting and liking videos, but it also allows users to create duets, which are direct video responses. You can also duet other duets, which leads to some seriously impressive stuff. Number three, AI-based content curation. TikTok uses AI to learn two things, the likelihood of a video going viral and who to push the video to. Its first priority is to keep you on the app. So it feeds you content that has broad appeal. Then it mixes in less popular stuff and monitors which ones you replay and interacts with. Then it gives you more of that. To understand the quality of a video, it analyzes the content and then monitor how well it does. Certain user interactions are given a higher score. For example, commenting is worth more than liking and rewatching it is worth more than completing it once. It leads to an endless feedback loop of targeted content that is very, very hard to resist. Number four, instant gratification. 15 second videos with a setup and punchline. Autoplay feeds unless you manually pause or there's an ad. Lots of content creation support features. The opportunity to participate in group activities with millions of others and get a bunch of attention by dancing like this. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. Everything about TikTok is designed to make it easy to feel good about yourself, to bombard you with so much content that you lose track of time. This is what video games try to do, by the way. TikTok does it way better than most of them. Takeaway for founders, you probably don't want to make the next TikTok because you would then be competing with TikTok and you would lose. But what are some lessons all founders can learn from TikTok's success? Number one, target an audience with a problem. Number two, focus on providing value to solve that problem. Number three, make your solution easy to use. Number four, never stop collecting user feedback and iterating your app based on it. Number five, collect user data so advertisers can target them better. Always respect privacy law. Number six, prioritize introducing features that solves your audience problems, not your problem. Number seven, make sure you have enough funding to see the development process through. That last one is non-negotiable. All right, guys, that's it from me on TikTok. It's one of the most well thought out ideas to hit the market in the long time. It introduced real disruption. It made Facebook and YouTube rethink their way they share their content. By the way, I'm on TikTok too, so check it out for quick bites on app development. What else do you think startup founders, non-technical and technical can learn from TikTok? Also, what other apps would you like to see me cover on this channel? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment. See you there.